Hey, Bill, thanks for having me on. Well, let's start with health care. The Republicans just can't let this die. They don't seem to have their act together. They bitched about it for eight years. They don't have a replacement plan. They can't get the votes to, to pass a plan. They might have the votes this time to pass a plan. Donald Trump is trying to reassure everybody he'll only sign a bill to replace Obamacare if it's a good plan. A, what the heck's a good plan? And B, do you think the day is ever going to come the Republicans are going to get their act together on health care? Man, it's looking increasingly unlikely, isn't it? Well, to your original point, it, what's what's so amazing is that the, Rep the Republicans uh, campaigned furiously and almost exclusively on the whole issue of repealing and replacing Obamacare, and then they got handled. You know, but then they got the keys to the car, and and they can't find the ignition. I mean, it's <laughs> it's just it's mind-boggling. Uh, and then you've got a situation this week where it appeared like there was some progress and. And that the Freedom Caucus came aboard because they got a provision in the bill that basically let states opt out of certain provisions, like pre-existing conditions. Yeah. And then Donald Trump does an interview uh, yesterday and says, uh, "I guarantee that uh, pre-existing conditions are going to uh, be, be guaranteed." So I, either, either he doesn't know what's in the bill, or he knows what's in the bill, and he's and he's and he's purposefully blowing the thing up again. But it's just hard to see where this thing lands now. 